You will not believe what Horikoshi has just done. If you think that the heroes have any chance of winning after the spoilers of My Hero Academia chapter 377, well think again. Because the chain of events that led up to where we are now, which is the title of the chapter, has quite literally made it impossible for Deku and the heroes to win. Or does it? But I do have something to say. I failed. I promise I will post amazing content that nobody on the face of the earth have ever seen. And trust me, I still have these video ideas in my computer right as we speak. But I allow the fear of the unknown to consume me. And that brought a lot of procrastination and doubt in my ability to make good content. But I still do desire to be the best anime YouTuber in the world. I just have to reframe my strategy to focus on the fundamental skills needed to get to that level. So 2023 is the year of mangavation building the foundation for being the biggest anime youtuber on the planet and if you rock with me drop a hashtag chicken nuggets in the comment section and let me know any video ideas you would like for me to make and i will assure you i will try to make every single one of them but not right now because we have to talk about my hero academia chapter 377 from the very first panel of this chapter to the very last panel of the chapter there's so much information that we can extrapolate from each and every single panel the chapter begins by showing cherry blossoms while a narration says that the heroes are in a bad place and the villains are striking back. They tried to divide them, but now the winds blow violently. And at this moment, someone reaches out their hands towards the cherry tree. Now, contrary to many people's belief, the hands that are reaching out to this cherry tree might be really important. If you look at the panel of the hands, you can identify that they are indeed old hands. And with that, I kind of have a feeling that the person that is narrating this particular portion of the chapter might be the person whose hands is holding the cherry blossoms. And if that turns out to be true, then there's only three options that I personally could see this person being. Number one, which is the least likely to be the person would be all Might. Now I'm only considering this a possibility due to him having a small mite form and that being kind of similar to the bone structure of the hands that are in this panel. But there also is a theory going around that All Might potentially could be coming to the battlefield sometime soon. So it'll make a lot of sense if Horikoshi is somewhat foreshadowing that All Might is not inside the buildings guarding Eerie and instead he ran away and is out going to a battle location that is near Deku to try to save him and in this case he's reminiscing over his past while understanding the severity of the situation because he would obviously know that the villains currently have the upper hand on the heroes based on the current events and in thinking about that maybe that is the case in my two and three would be wrong I was gonna say somehow Dr. Garaki escaped and now he is like running around and he understands the situation that's going on but I don't really know if that makes too much sense and I was gonna say someone that we haven't seen yet in the story but someone who is associated to either the heroes or the villains who know about the severity of the situation like for example this possibly could be Deku's dad now it's not likely that that's the case but I could very much see Horikoshi trying to like throw something in there but I guarantee within the next 20 chapters or so this person is going to be brought back because Horikoshi is very good at foreshadowing these subtle events we then go back to the present and see a portal opening at UA Azuma Sensei noticed this that present Mike is there and understands what that means. And soon after, a twice clone also passes through the portal and starts multiplying and attacking Aizawa, Manuel, and Monoma. And oh my goodness, when I read this originally, I went crazy. The one thing that I've consistently been saying is that somehow, Monoma is going to get out. He has to either die or something has to move him in order for him to blink so that we can get the true power of all for Shigaraki. And in continuing the storyline of totally using twice his blood to multiply himself in every single area of this war, that is a really clever play by Horikoshi, especially considering that he didn't have all for one go inside of the portal, which doesn't too much make sense but it makes a lot of sense as far as how he wants the impact to be when all one finally shows up and he does whatever he needs to do to Shigaraki and to Deku. But just like I've been predicting for the longest time, Monoma blinked and it's because twice, or Toga in this case, pushed him down and forced him to blink. And within the split second of Monoma blinking, Shigaraki just does the impossible. Twice causes Monoma to stop looking at all for Shigaraki for a second. Then a huge explosion happens. The power poles are destroyed and the arena starts to fall. They are no longer able to stay in the air. 
Mandalay reports on the situation with her quirk and skeptic keeps hacking. Oh my gosh, this that is so smart. And that's why I love My Hero Academia. Horikoshi doesn't just let things happen. He genuinely asks, how would the world be if this situation were to occur? And realistically, if Mandalay was trying to continue to send signals and send messages out to other people in different areas, it makes a lot of sense for Skeptic to say, I'm not gonna allow you to do any of that. I'm gonna prevent you and hack your system and transmit your signals and messages to different areas that are not what you want. I'm gonna mess things up for you. It's the character interactions that I genuinely love more about My Hero Academia than anyone in the world. I don't know why, but it's just who I am. It's a small detail, I promise you, it's a small stuff. Now with the explosion, everyone is obviously asking the question, how in the world is Bakugo alive after this? It doesn't make sense. And to that I say, you're right. However, to be fair, in reality, it wasn't an explosion to that magnitude. Like, it wasn't an explosion that Bakugo would make. It's more so a like explosion. So while yes, technically it's strong enough to destroy the pillars. All right, I'm doing a horrible job of trying to convince y'all that this was not as bad as it was. All right, it doesn't make sense, but listen, Horikoshi knows what he's doing. It's anime, all right, relax. But does this confirm that Bakugo is indeed dead? At this point, we should be listening to what I've been telling you all for the last couple of months. Let this story tell you how to feel. Bakugo has been dead for like three months now. So until further notice, he's still dead until he's not. And it's kind of difficult to believe that he's going to be alive right now, but maybe in the next 10 chapters. And continuing, Skeptic has taken over the UA system and the underground shelter. He laughs and says that everything is in his hand. Deku is tired and says that this is the effect of gear shift on his body. If he doesn't let his cells rest, he won't be able to breathe. That is a huge weakness for Deku to have. And the more that I think about it, there is no way in the world that My Hero Academia can end in this fight. I mean, technically anything can happen, but if Deku is at this limit right now, then it's not likely that he's gonna be able to have another power up to overthrow this weakness. But then again, in My Hero Academia chapter 376, Horikoshi did plant a seed that although Shigaraki is perfect, he's not yet perfect. And you know what that means. It means the exact same thing that happened in the Purnival Liberation War could potentially happen here, but on a different angle. Where in base, he overpowered everyone, and when he finally got his powers back, his physical body completely separated and broke due to how much power he had in comparison with how his body was. However, as I've been saying over the past year, Horikoshi is not going the physical route anymore. He's focusing on the psychology of Shigaraki and the hero versus the villain. So in this case, I guarantee you it's not going to be a split in Shigaraki's physical body that's going to allow Deku and the heroes to get the upper hand and win. And in fact, it's going to be a split in his mental state. But the second user says that he can not stop. One for all and all for one are connected and he sees the inner all for one is unable to freely control Shigaraki's body. Deku needs to take the chance and move. All the events leading up to this moment will be the key to victory. Skeptic continues hacking, but suddenly a silhouette appears on one of his computers saying, found you. The voice said that it was very difficult to find where he was, but they are not the least bit mad about it. After all, it's all for gentle's sake. Yes, Labrava is back. And you know what that means? That means gentle criminal is coming to the battlefield. And even though Gentle Criminal is not effective offensively against an all for Shigaraki full powered, Horikoshi is not only going to redeem him, but he's going to allow Gentle Criminal to go out in the way that he's always wanted to his entire life. Being known around the world for, in this case, his heroics. And oh my goodness, do I need this. Gentle Story is one of the best in the entire story of My Hero Academia. It's one of the really stories of My Hero Academia. And coincidentally, it's one of the stories that Deku can relate to the most out of any character in the entire story. And if we were to see Gentle Criminal back in the story, that'll change 
everything. Considering that Gentle Criminal has the quirk elasticity, I can very much see him in tandem with Deku and maybe even the other heroes might possibly be Bakugo. Jumping from object to object, from air to air, because you remember he can use his quirk on the air itself, in combination with Fajin, Black Whip, and Smoke Train, likely because he probably won't be able to use gear shift at that particular moment in time. But this will make a faux gear shift, which could allow Deku to get some slight upper hand on Shigaraki as he's going through his mental drought and ultimately defeat him let me know your thoughts in the comment section below